All right, YouTube. I'm going to bring y'all along on this adventure this morning. Hope y'all got a good start on Friday morning. Praise God for another day. So, got me a one before out of the building. Cut it down to where it fit. Slid it underneath the edge of the tub as far as it'll go. So what I'll do is I'll mark my center line mark on that. Then I'll take it out and I'll lay this on it and get it marked out and cut it out with a jigsaw. All right, so I got my pattern, got my pattern laid out on my one by four. Check out this old antique Black & Decker. Now, this is a body shop. Uh, not really a body shop like your average. I don't do insurance work. Really shouldn't have called it a body shop, but it is what it is. This is a restoration shop. Uh, Trump may have the title that says, uh, Make America Great Again. But the restoration shops, they carry the title of uh, making cars great again. So this is an antique that I have had for years. Um, it's even got a cord. Nowadays, you see the fancy cordless ones. But anyway, let's get started on this. All right. Section is out. This little baby right here got cruise control ah, run it wide up and let it beg that thing hadn't been running years let's test fit this well it's in not as easy to get in as i thought it was going to be this section right here is the way the roundness of that tube and points down the, that sharp edge needs to be rolled up just a little bit to give me a uh, little bit more room to sandwich between the, the roll and the bottom of the tub. See how we left the, the bottom of the tub so that it would have support underneath for the wood. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to mark against, mark this outside edge and get it back out. That'll tell me, number one, how deep this wood goes in. And it'll tell me, uh, it'll show me how much it has scraped the wood. How much do I need to open it up to get it to where it fits freely? Well, it didn't fit as easy as I thought, as you can see. I had to slope the, the angle of it to fit the extra width on the bottom of that wheel tub because it goes down at an angle. There you have it, finished product. Now I just need to get this to him or let him come and get it and he can cut it out of the real wood. All right, there you have it. Man, if that was cut out of the real wood, that would look some kind of snazzy under there. 